You can't pull any punches with America. I want you to be tough on it. Parker grown up around cops, so he'll know if you're not being real with him. I have no problem doing that, Jack. As long as you think it'll work. Uh, it's got to. Because honestly, I'm running out of options. I just hope the idea of real jail time would be enough to wake Parker up. How does restitution in a six-month sentence sound? It sounds good, provided he does the right thing once he gets in here. I just don't like the idea of breaking my own son. What? What is going on? The DA wanted to see me? Yes, Parker, she wanted to see you alone. How could you call him down here and not tell me? It's procedure, Carly. I don't need to clear it with you. Yeah, you do. I'm his mother. What's his excuse? I asked him to come. Why? Why not? Come here for a second. You think acting like this is helping you? It doesn't matter what you say. You just want to close the case. <sighs> okay, you got me. Yeah, that's what this is all about. The fastest way for me to do that is to get you to talk. So, you're going to answer the DA's questions. You'll admit to what you've done. You'll accept the consequences like an adult. Uh, we don't need to go overboard, Jack. Nobody asked you to chime in, Montgomery. Actually, your son did, and I think I can clear up this entire misunderstanding. There is no misunderstanding. Parker took the cash out of the register at Al's, and he's going to answer for that. I, I couldn't agree more that that is what he should do if he had, in fact, taken the money. He had $150 on him. When I found him, where else would he get that? From me. I gave it to him. You gave Parker the money. Why is this the first time I'm hearing it? You know, that is a good question. Yeah. Yeah, I bet the answer is just as good. Well, there's no need to be hostile. Jack. So when, uh, why exactly did you give Parker this handout? Well, you had kicked him and his new bride out of the house. They had nowhere to go. They had nothing to live on. I'm sure as his father, you wouldn't begrudge your son that. You really are a piece of work. Are you hearing this? Jack. When I found them in Old Town, Parker had barely $30 on him. I guess I just don't understand why you didn't tell me this yesterday. You saw that I was taking steps to make sure that Parker was punished for stealing it. You didn't say anything, did you? Well, frankly, I was hoping that all this would blow over and... Well, I didn't think that you'd like the fact that I gave your son a helping hand. You know what? I like lying even less. And why aren't you saying anything? Jack. No, Parker's so quick to open his mouth. You're being so silent now. What do you want me to say? I want you to tell me the truth. We all know that Craig didn't give you that money. You don't have any proof that I didn't, Jack. Parker, if you want me to treat you like an adult, I'm willing to do that. What's but going you got... on? Hey, Parker. Thank God you're here. Are you okay? I thought you were getting a lawyer. He doesn't need one. <sighs> please, please. I know, I know I'm putting you on the spot, but you please tell the DA how Parker got that money. What? Janet, Why? just tell her the truth, okay? That's all you have to do is tell the truth. The money that Parker had on him, he got out of the register, right? Um, I, I guess he did. I, th I think he did. What do you mean you guess that you think he did? What do you... Well, the register was open and there was no money, but I didn't actually see him take it. Yeah, so Janet, you know, you know what happened, right? I'm sorry. I think I've heard enough. A word, detective?